Now let's uh, look into continuous random variables. Continuous random random variables. So for a continuous uh, random variable uh, is a type of random variable that can take on any value within a certain range. In other words, a continuous random variable can take on an infinite uh, number of possible values including any value within a specific uh, interval and the probability of the variable taking on any particular value is zero. So instead, the probability is determined based on uh, the probability density function of the variable. So here, the probability density function before probability mass function and this one is probability density function on the very of the variable it's called p d f p d f so for continuous uh, random variable again we denote it as capital x and a probability of uh, a continuous random variable x uh, at a value small x uh, is you can write as p of x but it is meaningless because it is meaningless because it's continuous variable because it is it is continuous variable so that is the reason we go for the density function so for for continuous random variable we talk in terms of probability with an within an interval within an interval so x belongs to x belongs to x comma x plus delta x in between this interval what is the probability that's what we ask because it's a continuous random variable it's not discrete bro it's not discrete it's a continuous random variable so that's the reason asking a continuous random variable to provide me probability for a probability of a continuous random variable of x at a particular value of small x is meaningless meaningless that is the reason so we ask uh, 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 we talk in terms of uh, probability within an interval x belongs to x comma x plus delta x. So p of x uh, times delta x is the probability that capital X belongs to x comma x plus delta x as delta x uh, tends to 0. Tends to 0. So this is how we represent obviously the integration comes into the picture so we if you want to calculate the overall uh, distribution of this area or the probability we have to use the lower limit and upper limit or and then we have to take the shape of it so integration of a to b integra integration of a to b integration of uh, p of x into dx uh, with limits a to b so that's how uh, you get it. So P of X uh, is called as the probability density. Probability mass uh, will become probability density. If it is a discrete random variable, it's a probability mass. Now it has become a density because we are, we are talking in terms of uh, probability within an interval so p of x is the probability density at uh, capital x is equals to small x so hence uh, p of x greater than or equals to zero and in spite of uh, what we did there uh, we have designated the sum of uh, probabilities of uh, each individual values in that uh, discrete random variable is equal to one but here not like that here the integration of p of x times dx is equal to 1. So it's nothing but the area of the when see integration is nothing but the measuring the area. Integrating the small, 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 infinite small, infinite small, small components and bringing and making a big, big area. And that's what is called integration. That's what the name the name itself says integration you are integrating the small small pieces 
what's the shape of that small piece p of x that follows this shape of p of x and uh, what are the limits for that you have to provide the limits that's what is integration nothing else people think integration means something else integration means only the formulas only the calculations no this is what is integration if you want to know mathematics just ask me i'm mad about mathematics i love mathematics more than my girlfriend that's the reason my girlfriend is doing phd in mathematics okay let's move ahead so that's what is uh, continuous uh, random uh, variables uh, so now uh, uh, some examples of continuous random variables include the uh, height of uh, individuals in a population so this variable can take on any value between uh, minimum and maximum heights observed in the population so the probability of uh, any particular value is zero and the probability of a range of values is determined by the pdf uh, or probability density function of uh, the variable and the uh, second example that we can check uh, here is uh, temperature of a room so this variable can take on any value between the minimum and maximum temperatures that can be measured in the room so the probability of any particular value is zero so and the probability of a range of values is determined by p by the pdf of the variable that's a probability density function and one more example that we can see for continuous uh, random variables is time it takes to complete a task time it uh, takes to complete a task this variable can take on any value between uh, the minimum and maximum uh, times it could take to complete the task so the probability of any particular value is zero and the particular uh, and and the probability of a range of values is uh, determined by the p d f of the variable so continuous uh, random variables are often used in statistical analysis and uh, modeling in many fields including finance uh, engineering and uh, social sciences uh, some commonly uh, some common probability distributions used for continuous uh, random variables include the normal distribution uniform distribution and exponential uh, distribution